Who loves margaritas? This guy right here. I love margaritas and today that's what we're making again. It is a Grand Marnier margarita. Hey everybody, it is Eric and I am again continuing my journey for 100 cocktails throughout 2020. And you know what? I have not done much with Grand Marnier. In fact, I haven't done anything with Grand Marnier. I've done a lot of Cointreau, a lot of Triple Sec. Although Grand Marnier is similar, it's not quite the same. Grand Marnier comes out of France. It is a cognac and orange liqueur based product. It is an 80 proof, so it is a high proof liqueur for sure. Same as cognac. They are very similar, although there is, there is a little difference and this particular, uh, this particular margarita, hopefully we'll be able to notice the differences in this one. I plan on doing one down the road, kind of like a uh, Grand Marnier versus Cointreau type of a cocktail, but uh, that's not what this is about. This is about making a margarita, and this is basically a traditional margarita. Um, only it's a little bit different. Of course, Grand Marnier being the figurehead of that. So, as with any margarita, we're going to need a shaker tin to get started. And we're going to need some tequila to get started. I'm using some Cabo Wabo here. Anything that is 100% blue agave is going to be a big win for you. Uh, I like Cabo Wabo though. So let's pop the cork on that and get started. For this particular cocktail, we're going to start with our tequila. It's going to be an ounce and a half of the Cabo Wabo into a shaker tin. The only other liquor in this is, of course, Grand Marnier. So let's add that in. Grand Marnier, going to be a half an ounce of green one yet. Very good stuff. Very enjoyable. Well worth the price tag. We also need a half ounce of simple syrup. It's basically a sugar water combo. And that's going to go into the mixing tin as well. Also, <laughs> some lime juice. I freshly squeeze my lime juice and this is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. It's really all you need. Uh, it's time to add some ice to it. We're going to give it a real nice shake and strain it off into a chilled glass. All right. I really like margaritas. You don't need a margarita glass to serve it. You can use any glass to serve it. And quite frankly, I don't like the uh, salt garnish around the rim. But if you enjoy a salted rim, by all means, salt the rim in this glass. However, I do not. So therefore, I'm not doing it. I'm going to pour that in there. Try and get every last drop we can. And I just like to garnish mine with a lime wheel. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just a nice simple lime wheel garnish. And that is how you make a Grand Marnier margarita. All right, let's uh, try out the Grand Marnier margarita. See how it turned out. I like the balance. It's a really good balance. You get hit with the agave first. There's a little bit of orange the core flavor that comes in from the Grand Marnier. It's not too sour. Not too sour at all, but there is that little touch of sour there from the lime juice. If anything, it's a little too sweet, but not really. Overall, it's, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take it. 
the agave mixes very well with the orange flavor. It's good stuff. So, hopefully you enjoyed this Grand Marnier Margarita. If you try it out, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below what your thoughts on it are. Because, well, it matters. You know, it does. It matters. So, I'm about out of drink here, which means we have reached the end of our episode. If you want to see more, you want to follow my journey to 100 drinks in 2020, then click down below. That bell icon is going to notify you whenever I post new videos. So until next time, thank you for watching this. And remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. <laughs>